we're now going to be ordering decimals or comparing decimals to see you know, basically which of two decimals is bigger. Uh, I like to think of this as a competition. I've got two digits here, 96.7186 and 96.74. At first glance, you may be tempted to say that the one on the left is definitely bigger. It's got more digits in there. Uh, but since this is a comparison of decimals, we want to be a little bit more careful. And what we want to do, since this is a comparison between these two, when it's written this way, left side and right side, it can be a little bit misleading. Uh, I like to write them right above each other, 967186, that's the one on the left, and then below it, 96.74. Uh, I was being specific whenever I lined these up to make sure that I lined up the decimals above each other so that I'm comparing place value for place value. So I'm looking for a winner to see which one of these two is bigger. When I look at the first digit, the first place value that either one of them have, it's the tens place. So we've kind of got a tie there, nine and a nine. So then I go to the next place value. Again, we have a tie in the ones place, six and six. So no problem, every time we get a tie, we just go one step further. In the tenths to the right of the decimal, again, we've got a tie, seven and seven. But when we get to the next place value, the first one that is not a tie, we have an undisputed champion, four is bigger than the one. So we have found our biggest digit of those two. So when I'm asked to compare them, the one on the right is actually the bigger value. It has a larger value than the one on the left. So don't be thrown off by all those extra digits out here. We wanna make sure that we're comparing decimals place value by place value. So looking at our examples here, and we have a few. Again, each one of these, in order to make the comparison, I wanna line them up. Uh, the first one here, 9.75, 9.76, place value by place value, tie, tie again, and then the six is bigger than the five. So looking at which one is bigger, the 976 is the larger one. Doing that with the next numbers, 4.10, 4.1. Now here, same value for the first place value, same value for the second value, second place value. When I'm doing that last digit, there's nothing on that bottom number out there. So if I were trying to compare something, the fact that's nothing there, that nothing is there, means that the nothing is, you know, it's a zero. There, there's nothing there. So even here, although it, the zero wasn't written, there was nothing there. So we've got, you know, the exact same digit for each one of the place values. So for this one, we're going to say that these two are equal. Uh, the last one here, we line those up, 0 0.08, 0 0.6, and although they start off with the first place value being the ones and a tie, the tie is quickly broken at the next place value, the six is bigger than the zero. So comparing them at that level, we see that the six is the bigger number. Cool.